So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh, grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business on the Golden Cat. Oh, I should concentrate on piloting this boat. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the hound pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. There's a couple of things I really like about the intro to this interlude. The first is that Wallace is waiting for your return, and you see him go call everyone when he spots you. It's way or more organic than just having everybody, like, magically Asking waiting for you. The second is the hints drop that Emily is a lot more clever than she sometimes lets on, which is what the game's been telling us. Um, she goes from really casual and warm to Samuel with ladylike to Callista pretty much effortlessly. I mean, because you'll notice, like, she never actually makes a demand, despite the fact she's being clearly deferred to, because ostensibly, demands aren't ladylike. Anyway, with Piero, I'm honestly just throwing money around here. The annoying thing is that low chaos play, you run out of new toys to buy pretty quickly, so you really don't need a whole lot of money. And in one way, this is really balanced appropriately, I guess? Your work at the Golden Cat was uh -huh. something for the poets, Corvo. Have I mentioned Both recently that you make me sick, Martin? Without so much as a bump uh, anyway, the majority of enemies really aren't worth engaging at all job. if you want to be non-lethal. But, you know, I of course play that all enemies must be hugged and all coins must be pinched and Martin's face is apparently ephemeral, so... I'm clearly not normal for this game one way or another. Also, I'll admit, when I destroyed the speaker up in up near our room in the last uh, the last interlude, I actually didn't expect it to stay destroyed. Uh, on one hand, I'm a little bit sad about this because we won't hear any more of the announcers reporting during interludes this run. But on the other hand, like every last bit of it is crap. We already know. Wav. So. Did you do that? I did no, I didn't completely botch a jump. Shut up. And also, this is totally not a creepy way to visit your daughter. Callista. I don't want to look around right now. Of course. We can give you the tour later, when you've rested. I was wondering... Do you think my mother is really dead? I saw her get stabbed, but maybe she was still alive and got better. Is that possible? I'm sorry, Emily. But no. She did not survive. Oh. Did you go to her funeral? Was it fancy and beautiful? A train of carriages rode through the city. It was very beautiful. Flowers everywhere. And thousands of people wept because they will miss her. I wish I could have seen it. I'm sorry, dear. Note that even when she's putting I mean, her foot down here and she just wants to sit and read, Emily still isn't like making anyway. demands. She's just like, I don't want to do the tower that. across the river from here. That's where my mother died. Sometimes I wonder about the man who stabbed my mother. Who was he? Dowd. So I get to stay in a smaller tower while I live here. That'll be good practice. <laughs> sure. We'll call it that. Hey, Pendleton. I'm not Warful. creepy. The Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it aided by some of his key allies. 
We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. The tone of Pendleton's conversation makes him come Where's off as Wallace? almost schizophrenic Wallace? here, which always struck me You're as a little bit weird. You are. I mean, sure, you Head just screwed lacking. up his brothers, but there's no love lost between him, Morgan, and Gustus. This means I'll have there's to tons have of children, documentation about how they made his life hell, and he hated them all. Bastards. I guess this it's just another hint that your allies Pendleton's. aren't exactly the most solid I'll make folks. Sure of that. Lord of Pendleton Manor. If Waverly could see me now. Sure, dude. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. How about letting Carbo get some That's damn it. sleep, then? Not that the streets around us are pleasant, but there's no rioting, at least. It's better that we're hidden here in one of the more desolated sections of the city. Sokolov's unpredictable. And as head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy, he's an odd bird, to be sure. Yeah, just keep commenting about how you're not With jerks. Campbell gone, I've been pressing my remaining contacts within the Abbey, talking to a loyal overseer I know here or there. We'll see how far that takes us. Have you Stop lost this. your mind? Why is your you face ephemeral? With the penalty. Hang on. Hang on. Bless it. Why are you not actually there? I know you've got the stamina for it. Shut up, you jerk. Something strange. Something strange. Something strange is that you you think that a man can run around the city, freaking twelve hours at a time. What? What you looking at, Pendleton? Anyway, with that, we're off to hit up uh, Caldwin's Bridge and uh, clown on British Rasputin. Got some stupid crap in mind for that one too so be sure to come along for that 